So in the previous video, we covered how to apply a prescribed displacement when we might know the amount of deflection that's expected from a part, but not the actual loading to achieve that. And the question came up of what if we need to apply something like a displacement and a rotation at the same time rather than just a simple displacement? We could try to add multiple reference geometry type fixtures, but my preferred method for that type of prescribed displacement is actually to use an option called remote load or mass, which can also actually function as a remote displacement. This requires a little bit extra setup work, however. I'll have to just create a coordinate system wherever I want to apply the displacements. So to do that, I'll go back to my model tab. Under my features, I'll add a reference geometry point and make a selection to place that, in this case, at the center of that cylinder. And I'll then add a reference geometry coordinate system to that point. Now I can switch back over to my simulation study. And I'll apply the remote load mass. Choose the option for displacement. Select the face I want to prescribe the displacement to. Select the coordinate system I'd like to use to reference these displacement directions. And then I can scroll down and apply a translation. So I can go also in the y direction, negative one millimeter as we did before. But I can also enable a rotation. So maybe in this case, I'll also enable a rotation about the z axis of one degree. So this is good also for analyses where you might want to test stiffness of something like a beam or a bracket like this. If I want to test the stiffness, I can apply prescribed displacements of rotational or translational effects or both simultaneously. And then once again, run the study. And I'll be treated with results of prescribed displacement and in this case also prescribed rotation. Now, there's an additional consideration when using either method of prescribed displacements that I wanted to talk about. And we can jump back over to the simple prescribed displacement we originally used to describe it. The thing to bear in mind is that these displacements that we're applying are being done in the form of a constraint or fixture. So it's not such a concern for situations like this where I don't have any external loading. But let's just suppose I want to duplicate this study and we'll call this one prescribed displacement with load. And I also, in addition to this one millimeter displacement, want to have some external load acting on this bracket, such as a force downward of, let's say, a thousand newtons. Now, what could actually end up happening is that prescribed displacement in the form of the reference geometry fixture could actually end up resisting that force. Because if I run this, I should know that no matter how much force I apply, I should never exceed the one millimeters in the y direction on this particular face where the fixture was applied. And we can see that exactly here. One millimeter of vertical displacement. Even if I used a much, much larger force, let's go to 100,000 newtons. I'll probably be getting very high stresses in this bracket in different places exceeding yield stress, but in terms of displacement, if I go to probe that same location once again, we're still at one millimeter. So the prescribed displacements are appropriate to use when you don't have other large forces acting on the model, but you do need to be very careful about using them in situations where you're trying to combine them with other forces because they are acting as a constraint or a fixture. So if you ever do need to you basically accomplish a prescribed displacement in conjunction with other forces, you might want to consider replacing the prescribed displacement with whatever the equivalent force is. So these are just some tips. Again, in this video, we covered an advanced method for applying the prescribed displacement using the remote load mass tool in the remote displacement option. And we talked about some of the concerns if you are mixing prescribed displacements with other types of loadings, just to be aware that using a prescribed displacement, because it does act as a constraint or a fixture, 
it can add additional stiffness into the system that may or may not be realistic.